cap. We should all scan our, ourselves. <laughs> so, um, and you said a very important uh, and interesting thing, um, and that's um, you're a public speaker. So everybody thinks that you're ex um, ex uh, extrovert and you're outgoing. But you mentioned uh, that actually, uh, what gives you energy is mm -hmm. to be by yourself mm -hmm. and be internal, and that you are actually not extrovert at all. You're introvert. Yeah. I have a mix of both. Well, a lot of people, they don't know that um, I like to keep to myself. And, you know, I talk about this in one of my books that, you know, go to your energy source. You know, what is your energy source? And we're all different. You know, so for me, people make an assumption because I'm a motivational speaker, because I speak to eight or 10,000 people in one hit, that I must like people. Well, I like people when I speak. You know, the joke is when I hang out with friends, they're like, aren't you a motivational speaker? I'm like, yeah. Well, you're not speaking much at this party. <laughs> I'm like, because no one has paid me yet. <laughs> Pay me and I'll speak. It's true. It's true. Uh -huh. But on a serious note, even though when I say it, I'm actually quite serious. Um, but on a serious note, is where I get my energy source, yes, partly when I'm speaking and I'm getting the vibe from the audience, that's fantastic. But then after that, when I do, sometimes I do two or three talks in a day. And then after that, I'm just completely exhausted. Right. completely exhausted, like physically, mentally, emotionally, so I'm just completely exhausted. And then one thing I need to do is go somewhere where there's no one, right? Nobody. And you know, the, the people that I love, you know, whether it's mom, my brothers, uh, friend, you know, just anything, just no one. I just need time to myself because time by myself, whether it's reading a newspaper, whether it's having a cup of coffee, going for a walk, the gym, maybe even dancing, because we don't talk when we're dancing. For me, that's, that's my energy source. Silence, is my meditation. Time spent alone is where I get my energy. And it's very important for you to realize, based on who you are, based on your personality type, where can you get your energy source? It could be watching YouTube videos of you know successful people that you admire. You could, um, I admire Barack Obama as an example. Nothing to do with politics, I admire the way the guy speaks. So every now and again when he's on, well, he's, he's no longer the president, but you know, even just past video clips, I look at it, and in admiration, I'm like, wow, even though I've seen that clip maybe 20, th 20 times, 30 times, it really gives me energy because it's something that I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. I might not even learn anything new from it because I've watched it so many times. Just the fact that I'm watching it gives me energy. Now you could um, look at you know, an inspirational movie. The other day I was looking at a cartoon, but these days the, the animation that they actually make, but what was this one called? Yeah, which one? Zootopia? Zoo something? It was an animation, but it was actually an inspirational animation. It was fantastic. It was awesome. Uh, for you, it could be reading a book. It could be hanging out with you know, like-minded people, people who are wanting to go places, people who want to... Say, for example, if your dream is to travel all around the world, that's one of my goals, is to travel to every single country in the world. I use speaking as an excuse. <laughs> right? So just invite me to, ski, to speak and just, you know, just say that, hey, you know what, I'm going to show you around town. We will make it happen. <laughs> right? Because that's one of my goals. So it could be that you want to hang around with people who have traveled around the world and you could be inspired by what they've done because it will help you juice up to what you need to do. Yes. Find your energy source, whatever it is for you, find it. Maybe for some people it's not that easy to find it because... Fuck I that shit, there's excuses. Sorry. Um, no, I'm not sorry. Because judging, you know, like, like you know, like uh, how people sometimes judge themselves. So if like you use uh, your time by yourself and it sounds so cool and blah, blah, blah. But there's you, nothing cool about it. Yeah. But what if like uh, some people like really get the energy and you mentioned it's totally possible, like from other people. Yes. Going yeah. to a party, let's say. And, but then they're like, oh, but that's bad. You know, I should be also by myself meditating. <laughs> No, no, you got to be true to yourself. You got to be true to yourself. There's nothing cool about me being in like in just a natural, serious mode, wanting to be by myself. You know, an ex-girlfriend once told me, she goes, why do you look emotionally constipated? <laughs> right? Because that seemed to be my natural look, which was this. Right? And this, so this has nothing to do. <laughs> right? I'm just being honest. Right? There's nothing cool about it. That's just the reality. If I'm not true to myself, if I'm not authentic, and I try to be cool and hang out with people, say for example, hang out with like, I'm drained out of all energy, and I hang out with like-minded people, or I hang out with cool people. That's only gonna look good, but it's not gonna do anything for me. I'm gonna come back home and I'm gonna be completely exhausted. The next day I'm still gonna be exhausted. My energy source is time away. Yes. 
Yes, networking with great people is important. Yes, networking with like-minded people is important. Yes, um, you know, talking, discussing, having in an intelligent conversation, you know, being able to seek new adventures, avenues, business, whatever, travel, that's all great. But you still need to get your energy source. Where do you get your energy source from? Yep. Right? And that you have to be true to yourself. And there's nothing cool about it. There shouldn't be anything cool about it. This is about you and you alone. But okay, but I have a tricky question. Can your energy source be something that is really uh, by a majority of people looked down upon? Like I would say like something controversial. Okay. Something something that is considered superficial or not healthy. Yeah, I mean do what works for you. Again, just to understand this whole point, the whole purpose of this is to go to your energy source. Right, and your energy source is supposed to then be able to lift you up, yeah. Right, not take you down. Yes. Yeah. Right. So sometimes, for me, I'll give you an example. If you're talking about unwinding, I like watching movies. Right, because again, for me, it achieves that silence where I can watch a movie for an hour and a half or two hours, not really think about anything, and it actually helps me unwind, helps me relax. You know, if I had like a block in thoughts, I'd watch a movie, and then after that free-flowing thoughts okay right. so some people might say yeah watching TV is a waste of time or yeah, watching TV I mean. yeah right it's true if I watch TV 12 hours a day I've done that in the past that is a waste of time let's just be honest I've done that in the past I'll go hooked to some TV series and I'll watch it like 12 14 hours a day for like I don't know two weeks that's not productive that is not productive <laughs> let's just be honest call a spade a spade that's not productive but if you need for example you you do an hour or two hours you watch a movie and it helps you unwind to be able to then go on and do what you need to do better yes that's moving you forward yes right that's what i'm talking about going to your energy source yes now i'm just like trying to like little like um emphasize the fact that it doesn't have to be something that is by majority looked or considered very very good you know <laughs> listen this yeah. is this is the thing anything i can i say or anything you say anything anyone says you can twist and turn it to however way you like yeah. use your own common sense and understand is this right or is that wrong i don't have to tell you that 14 hours of watching tv series for like two weeks is a waste of time you should already know this right and i'm an adult i'm aware of it right if i do it i'm telling myself it's a waste of time and i agree with it it's a waste of time right use your common sense Right. So when I'm saying, for example, go to your energy source, whatever works for you, but then just use your common sense. Is this helping me move in the right direction? You know the answer to this. You don't need anyone to tell you this. Yes. But then I still, I, I still need to add that, like, that there are moments where watching TV for 12 hours a day, I don't know, uh, even like 7 or 14 days uh, in a row, there are moments where you need that, even that, like, and to be flexible enough and open enough and not to judge yourself that right now I'm in the position that I need that and it's conscious. And then after that, they're like, you know, you know, there's like face, there's like a phase but of life and it changes then. Listen, if you're conscious about what you're doing, yeah. you're happy with it and you feel it's going to help you move forward. But, like if I say like right now, I'm going to allow myself to totally just lose everything. Yeah, but I'm you're talking about like taking a break, for example. For example. Right. But like, you know, if I say it to somebody, oh yeah, I was watching TV for like this amount of time, and right. they'll be like, oh my God, that's a terrible waste of time. But I'm like, I needed that, and I deserved it, and there's nothing I'm wrong. I'm not spastic. I've just got mosquitoes all over me. <laughs> yeah, but this is important to say. Yeah, I mean, well, what you're touching on is not being affected by other people's judgment. Yes. Right? Which yes. you shouldn't be affected by other people's judgment. Right? I don't care like what you think. You might like this, you might not like it. Does it look like I care? I'll tell you right now, I don't care. And neither should you, because other people's opinion should not matter. What matters is you. Right? No one's losing sleep about what you care about them. I'm not going to lose sleep about what you think. Why should you lose sleep about what someone else thinks? Because there's like outside judgment, uh, but there's the inner judge. Because you just, said, you just said that, you just said that. Right now I'm watching TV. Okay, it's a great example as well. Mm -hmm. um, watching TV, I know, and you said, I know it's not helping me move forward. But I want so to do it. What if that watching TV is actually helping me? Did you see me, the cat? Sorry. Helping me oh. moving forward. What if, and this is very important because I think we're beating ourselves all the time. What if that watching TV for 14 days in a row is actually helping me moving forward? If you choose to do it, then just own it. Mm -hmm.